My husband is saying another woman's name in his sleep. Original post May 13, 2022. My husband and I are both in our 30s, married for about 10 years, with kids. When my husband is very tired, he talks in his sleep, not a lot but a few words, usually it's about whatever is on his mind. When our boys were young it was usually about feeding them or giving them a bath, now it happens less than it did back then but it still happens about once a week, usually he says something about work or fishing or his car. Last night he said another woman's name in his sleep, actually a few times. First he just said her name and kind of laughed in his sleep. Then he said, her name, let's go to bed. And then a few minutes later something about a shower. This is a woman that lives near us, he knows her but I don't. I work afternoons, my husband gets out of work around 4 and so does she so they're both outside with the kids around the same time. I've never seen them be anything but friendly, I've never seen odd behavior from him. But this has me very paranoid. I don't want to be one of those people who gets mad at their partner for something that happened in their sleep, am I being ridiculous for bringing this up to him? Update thank you everyone. I brought it up to my husband in a joking manner. He immediately got defensive and began saying he couldn't f asterisk king believe I was making an issue out of this. I was pretty taken aback by his immediate defensive reaction, I assured him I wasn't accusing him of anything, I had just wanted to bring it up since it happened and make a joke out of it so he knew I wasn't actually upset. He continued to call me ridiculous, dramatic, etc. And if he expected me to stop hanging out with her because of this I was out of my goddamn mind, then he left. Relevant comments. Mf Stacy. Put your mind at rest and talk to him. I say and do all sorts of crazy stuff in my sleep, I told my partner he was a danger to me and I was calling the police once. <laughs> he really isn't a danger to me. OOP. I'm just a little bit alarmed because he's never spoken about anyone else like this, in this way. It's always very straightforward, things that he's thinking about or are happening in real life. Personal underscore regular underscore 569. Honey, trust your gut. His reaction is everything you need to know. That anger he directed at you is masking guilt or shame. He's having inappropriate feelings for the neighbor, whether he's acted on them or not who knows. Update May 15, 2022, two days later. After my husband's very defensive response after I bought it up in a really light-hearted way, I began to get a little concerned, especially how he said, if you expect me to stop hanging out with her over this you're out of your goddamn mind. Of course I never would have asked him to stop talking to her over a dream, but his response really was over the top. So yesterday I took a half day and got home from work at 4.15, the time they're usually hanging out. My kids and my husband were not at home, despite my husband telling me he had gotten them off the bus and his life 360 saying he was home, plus his car being in the garage. I called his phone and it went off in the bedroom, but no him. So I walked by the woman's house. She has a pool in her backyard and from the street I could hear the two of them, clearly, in the backyard in the pool, talking and laughing. I literally didn't even go on to her yard. I just yelled out my husband's name and said, where are the kids? He was silent for so long. He started to say something but I cut him off, I think I just told him to shut the fk up, and told him just tell me where my kids were. He said they were over his mother's. I told him he had until I went to get them and get back to get his stuff out of the house. He tried to keep talking, at this point he had come out to the street but I honestly didn't want to hear anything he had to say. I told him I wasn't messing around, if he was still there when I came home I was going to lose it. He got the point, he was gone but I did let him tell me, his side of the story, on the phone later that night. He said they were just friends, that he didn't tell me how close they were because he thought I would get upset, a lie, I don't care if he has female friends or not as long as he's respectful of boundaries, which he wasn't. I don't believe anything he said, he lied about where our kids were to innocently hang out with a friend? Obviously this is all new, but I have no intentions of reconciling with him, I'll be a co-parent and nothing else. It feels surreal to me how all of this started, I still can't really believe it's happening. Relevant comments. OOP responding to a downvoted commenter. I don't understand what you're confused about. He lied about where my children were. He lied about where he was to hang out with her. You have to be a moron to not see he's cheating. Different management 1. I absolutely knew something was up from your first post. I'm so sorry. Do you think they've been having sex? Is he trying to save your marriage or no? Is she married? What scum? OOP. Yes, he is. Different management 1. What exactly is his excuse for sending your kids to his mom's so they could have a date? I can't even imagine. OOP. One of our sons had just been sick two days before so he said he didn't think he would be up for swimming. Foggy day sun nights. Did you ask his mother for what she was told? Why she was asked to watch the kids? Does she know what her son has been doing? I'm so happy you are taking care of this now. OOP. She told him he had to do work on the house and didn't want them around while he did it. 
Story 2, Divorce on Table Because Husband and I Can't Agree on Baby's Name Original post January 3, 2019 Hello Reddit This title might look funny but it's an actual problem between me, 23F, and my husband, 24M. We've been dating for a year, been married for two years. I got pregnant like seven months ago so recently we started discussing name for the baby. Ever since we found out it's gonna be a girl my husband wants to name it like his ex's name. It's not any ex, but the one he dated for long period of time and loved the most. In the beginning of our relationship we had made problems because of her, but she moved away so the problems went away. He really loved her and he never hid that from me but I thought it was over once she moved away. Now he made it clear that he wants the baby to have that name and I can name the second child. When I asked him why does he want that name so badly he said just because he and his ex didn't work out doesn't mean he doesn't want something to keep reminding him of her. He doesn't understand how much it's affecting me and keeps saying it's just the hormones. Is he still in love with the ex or it's normal that he wants to name our child like that? Thank you. Top comments. Sit. I knew a woman who wanted to name her baby after an ex. She ended up stabbing the current BF. Just putting that out there. Spoon bills. I'm more concerned about his lack of respect for you as his partner, his number one, his wife. You might try relationship counseling but I suspect his disrespect extends beyond the baby naming issue. Shore 16. Tell him that you want to name your second child after one of your previous F asterisk CK buddies because the sex was so good you just want to be reminded of it even though things didn't work out. Like seriously what the f asterisk ck is he thinking? I don't know your husband's feelings towards his ex, but it's not normal. Mara Jani. Wow. He just told you, you are second best. He blatantly is saying he settled with you. No way. Update, rared it January 18th, 2019, 15 days later. I'm sorry for late update but last few weeks have been hell for me. I'm gonna write quick update here mostly to thank all those people for opening my eyes about everything. I also apologize for English mistakes because I'm from Italy and it's not my native language. I followed through most advices in the comments from calling our friends asking for help, asking his mom, talking to him and calling the ex. This post blew up in two days and then I decided to show him comments where everyone said we should not name our child after an ex. He said I'm listening to random social media strangers instead of my husband and called me so many bad names, refuses to talk about it and still wants to name our child like his ex. Next thing I do is call his mom and mutual friends, his mom called me immature and said it's just a name and I should only care about delivering the child healthy and not argue with him over something stupid. Our friends said they don't want to get in between us and suggested therapy as well. I was really desperate so I did something I never would, I called the ex. She didn't sound surprised at all by it and said she kinda knew he was gonna name the child after her but she explained it fully because he couldn't look me in the eyes and say all that. Two of them had an agreement, while they were still in love, to name their children after each other if they don't work out. She left him and obviously grew out of it and said she would never name her child after him because it's absurd but she wasn't surprised that he still wants to do that. When I asked her why does she say that, well here comes the shock. My husband tried getting in contact with her via Facebook several times, asked her to meet up etc and she kept refusing because he is a married man. Here you can see that she is not a bad person and by the way for anyone who asked her name is Aurora and I wouldn't mind just naming my child Aurora because it's a beautiful name and she isn't a bad person but I don't want to raise someone who will remind my husband of his ex. I thanked her for telling me the truth and asked her to inform me if he tries to contact her again. I confronted my husband about it and told him I knew the truth, being in. Ah. Uh. As he is, he admitted and said there is nothing wrong in it, baby is mine, she will look like me and at least he gets to name it as her like he promised he would. I told him it's nonsense and even Aurora said it's stupid but he stick to his decision. We didn't talk much and he spent days and nights out with his single friends. Pretty soon I get a call from Aurora and she tells me he called her from his friend's phone and told her he is single now and asked to meet up and that he would fly up just to see her. After all those years with no contact with her, marriage with me, future daughter. She is still in his mind and he wants to meet her. I'm completely broken. Divorce is the only thing in my mind but it will be so stressful with pregnancy and everything else. I guess I wanted to be blind with him. But thanks to this app one at least won't spend my life with someone who doesn't even love me. Edit. Also Reddit feel free to drop names in the comments. I don't want to name my child Aurora because it would forever remind me of this incident and I can't think about names so help me out. Relevant comments. Witty and pithy. Sorry. Sounds like you are still in this asterisk T. He said there is nothing wrong in it. Baby is mine. She will look like me and at least he gets to name it as her like he promised he would. He called her from his friend's phone and told her he is single now and asked to meet up and that he would fly up just to see her. I'm sorry but it sounds like the person you married wishes he married someone else. 
it is really f asterisk ket up. But, I don't think he loves you. He may never have loved you. He may have just settled for you. But there are three wonderful things ahead of you. You can be grateful that Aurora has been honest with you. That is really helpful to you. You can be grateful you learned the truth about your ex now, and not in three or five or ten years time. You can be grateful that now you are able to take back your life and work on creating a happy life in the future. P.S. His mom sounds just as f asterisk ket up as him. Revel. She should name the baby Borealis just to f asterisk ck with her stbx. Nerizico. Nah. Helia. Feminine form from the Greek name Helios, Greek god of the sun, i.e. That big shining ball of plasma which is the ultimate source of the Aurora Borealis. The ultimate arf slash malicious compliance. Armal. Well, at least now you know he is a piece off asterisk t who tries to cheat while his wife is giving birth to his child. You deserve better. Name her, Alicia.